Welcome to the next video of Triple Gris. My name is Michael, I'm the founder of Triple Gris and the Righteous Pass Movement Foundation. And in this video we will talk about the Kingdom Call. Elijah is coming. Have a look at this image. You see a warrior standing, waiting, ready, ready to enter the battle, waiting for the call to bring him into the battle and to the gates, to fight with the enemy. Now it's the time for us to be ready, to stand with the full armor, to have everything ready, to be a powerful warrior in the army of the Lord. But what are we waiting for? We are waiting for the release of the spirit of Elijah. Many people think that the forerunner of Jesus Christ will be Elijah himself. And they believe that a great person will come forth, speaking great things for the kingdom of heaven, not against it. Like a, a person that will stand against the Antichrist, who will speak blasphemous things against the kingdom of heaven. Elijah will come as a great person, as a powerful one, who will speak great words for the kingdom of heaven. But if we look in the Bible, in the scripture, then we see a different Elijah. In his own ministry, we see that he appears somewhere from nowhere and that he have always had the feeling that he was standing alone and that there are no other prophets anymore in the land. He always even complained to the father and said, why am I alone here? How shall I stand against Ahab and Jezebel because I'm just alone and there's no other prophet in the land? But he was bestowed with great supernatural powers to stop the rain and to do many other things, to call fire from heaven. And he was the one who was calling the people out of the world, out of their world, the world of Ahab and Jezebel. So he was calling them out of the world of Babylon at this time and of the false religion, calling them back, returning them back to the kingdom of heaven and to the Father. To God Almighty. But he was not this pompous one that always said, oh look here Elijah is coming, the great one. He was just a low person, a humble person. So he is not fitting what the people are thinking will come. There will not be the mighty warrior coming that will stand and will defeat the Antichrist single-handed. But the spirit of Elijah will come and it will enter the people as it has entered John the Baptist. Another example to show that the spirit of Elijah is humble. It was John the Baptist who separated himself from Jerusalem, from the world for his time and went to the Jordan, into the wilderness to preach there a new path, a new way he was not the one who said, oh, I am Elijah. Everybody who proclaims today that he is Elijah in the person or in the spirit by, by being proud, he will never be accounted worthy. They are not the people. Not this one from Africa, not this one that proclaiming themselves all around. They are not. Also, we know that the spirit of Elijah is coming. And it will enter the people that are ready that are made ready for such a time as this. And it will enter the people that are ready to serve the kingdom of heaven, as Elijah has done in his own ministry and his spirit has done with John the Baptist. John the Baptist was preparing the way for the Lord. And now the, in the end times, the people filled with the spirit of Elijah will prepare the coming of the millennium kingdom. It will be the dress rehearsal of the Millennium Kingdom. In a humble way. In a way calling the people out of the world and out of Babylon. And out of the churches. Onto the new path. Where they will commit themselves, like on Mount Carmel, completely to the Kingdom of Heaven and to God. Not anymore having one leg in the world and one leg in Heaven. But they will stand with both legs firm on holy ground. 
The spirit of Elijah is coming very soon, brothers and sisters, and it will fill us, because we have made ourselves ready, though in understanding that the next step is not the holiest of holies, but that the next step is the holy place. The next step is to walk as Jesus has shown us, to be an example of the principles of heaven here on earth, to be a servant, not a master, not the receiver of the gift of a rapture and eternal eternity right now by jumping over the holy place, but being a servant first, bringing forth great service to the kingdom of heaven and to mankind. And by doing so, bringing in a great harvest, as our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ has done. So we are waiting for the spirit of Elijah to fall on us and to fill us so that we can prepare the way for our king to come, to set up the millennium kingdom. And let's do this in equality and in humbleness. Let us not be elevated over others. Let us not be proud. Let us not say bad things about other Christians. Yes, we understand not everybody can walk with us and not everybody will understand the principles of the holy places. But we are all equal and we will always continue to preach to them and teach them the truth and tell them that the way will lead you through the holy place to the holiest of holies. As it is written in the Bible, you need to come through the Son to reach the Father. Now the spirit of Elijah will come to us and we will do a service. Elijah was a great servant. Jesus was a greater one. Now Jesus has said, the day will come when you will do greater exploit than I have done. Now our time will come and we will bring in the harvest of the ages by bringing forth a great service and being great servant, great ambassadors of the kingdom of heaven for all to see bringing forth the spirit of Elijah in their midst. And God will bless us with giving us instructions and the powers we need, as he has done with Elijah and with John the Baptist. Let us call the people out of the world in the way John the Baptist has done it. And many people will come just to save themselves, not for the good motives, as John has said, oh, you wiper, you understand now the signs of the times. Yes, you see, people will come running for their own purpose, not for the purpose of the kingdom of heaven. But these are only a few. Most of them will understand, they will come out of the world, and they will also establish holy places in their neighborhoods. The spirit of Elijah is coming, brothers and sisters. Get ready to receive it, and then manifest servanthood manifest great service for the kingdom of heaven here on earth and great service for mankind. Show forth the principles of heaven, of love, mercy and compassion in your neighborhood through the daily sacrifice of love, together with all your disciples, together with all the other royal priests in your holy place. Get the instruction of the Father, walk with him in his presence. And being filled with the spirit of Elijah, you will then become a great servant. Everything what you ever wanted to be. You will pass through the holy place and then you will have access to eternity and the holies of holies, standing before the throne of God face to face. Be blessed, brothers and sisters. The spirit of Elijah is coming. The kingdom is calling. Stand ready. Put on your full armor and be ready to take the battle to the gates. Amen and Amen. Maranatha.